pike country. It's a good thing Mark brought that book. Oh, something there. Marco, so where are we? Where are we going? We're going to uh, Lock Haven Lodge. It's a world famous fishing spot, and uh, this is the inaugural meeting of the TL uh, SFA, the Toronto Tourism Sport Fishing Association. And uh, we're having our first inaugural meeting here. And to be prepared, I brought a book. I'll show you the book later. day fishing. The boys regroup, debrief, and reload on new strategies. Eddie, wait! What's up there? Here we are at the inaugural meeting of the uh, TLSFA, and we've been using the manual, and unfortunately it hasn't been good to us yet, but we're hopeful. We're very hopeful. What is hopeful? Open up a chapter, just that random show it happens. We will see. Let's, let's hear a tip. Tip of the night. Joining lines. Joining lines. We'll do another tip. No, you gotta do it random. I know it is allergy. Fishing the shore line. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. No fishing in the next day. All right, I'm gonna have my block. Uh, as we know, um, the complete fishermen, as I showed, it was a uh, complete trade. And right now we're into casting to see depth pattern, um, finding the right depth. Chim will bite the little bit. Long sloping points. Chim will bite the skate in Mochivaka, Irgalari toy, Spitis and Paskita. Gotcha. Our bus poke are dead. There will be break on the What you thinking? About, about what? Fishing. Finally, field and stream, the complete fisherman has paid off. A rattle bait was brought out of the mouth of a stream at a dead slow troll. The pike tapped once, twice, and there was a pause. And then BAM! It slammed the blue lure. No question, 
It was the most exciting catch of the trip. There was only one hiccup in the whole deal. Somebody forgot the tackle box back on the dock and we had no pliers. You see, a northern pike has got very, very sharp teeth and that was tough getting that lure out. Don't let go with that left hand, whatever you do. It measured 32 and a half inches and almost 10 pounds in weight. It was about one and a half inches too short to keep because of slot size regulations in the French River. And so it was set back in the water and it bolted right to the bottom. Well, time to go back to the camp and see how everyone else made out. <laughs> I clubbed him over the head. Well, wait, 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 Monica, how did you catch it? Oh, well, I used a MEPS number three uh, along with a bobber and four, uh, four, uh, four uh, lead weights on two pound test. And you learned this from the book? Uh, from the book, The Complete Fisherman. That's right. I read the book and now I'm a complete fisherman. More like a complete idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have my life jacket here somewhere. Good. Oh dear. Through the roof. <laughs> I don't know that. 